what's the one thing that has had a major explosion during this whole COVID situation? Entertainment. What's the one thing that has had a major explosion during this whole COVID situation? Entertainment. Have you gotten online and sat down to look at possibly a new movie and there wasn't one? You know, in the end, I'm really starting to get worn out about watching the same content. Content is really the key of the success of all of these entertainment and streaming services. I mean, I wouldn't go to them if they had bad content and neither would you. So the inability to create content for their channel, is that gonna hurt their overall valuations? Is that gonna hurt their price? Is that gonna hurt their dominance in their each individual areas? One of the coolest things that we're seeing now is that content creators can actually create movies on really small budgets, like $500 or $5,000. It doesn't any longer have to be multi-million dollars. And you can watch it from the comfort of your home. I mean, I'm no filmmaker, but I've grown my following. I've created content that's helping people and doing great things. Streaming content is the future. I'm a big believer that you watch the volatility. You look at what is moving mar stocks, bonds, markets in general. And volatility is a big leading indicator. And right now, man, I don't know if this is the time. Or is there a better time to buy in the future when things sort of settle down and we start to see this COVID thing sort of settle out? Now the question comes down to, is this the right time to buy those streaming content providers? Well, it really depends on your strategy. What are you trying to achieve? What are your goals? Why are you buying it? Are you just looking to make a quick buck or is this a long-term investment?